Welcome to DigiBudget. In this series, I will be upgrading one starter deck and upgrading them with a 10 to $20 per episode, buying the lowest rarity and playing three or more matches to see how this budget deck compares to other meta or casual or even other budget decks. The purpose of this series is to show what the starter deck can become on a budget and how well it stands against the rest. I work hard on the scripts and editing for the DigiBudget series, so if you like the video, consider leaving a like, it would be appreciated, and maybe a subscribe if you enjoy my content. The rules are, no proxies, no borrowing, and no cards over $30, and no more than one copy of the starter deck. And with that, let's get into today's episode. Alright, hey guys, it's your boy Pillow, back at it again with uh, your local DigiBudget. Um, it's not going to take too long, I only added a few cards. So it's pretty much the same as the last episode's deck list with a couple of cards added in because most of the budget went into adding these two Omnimon Swords, which were like about nine to ten dollars each. Yeah, it took up like most of the budget. Uh, so I had to make this quick with um, the cup. These were a couple cents more blockers because uh, in the first episode, last episode, I should say, I was not able to block at all or as as good as i'd want to because like i all i can do is just take hits and then revive whatever was good in my um crash but now i'll be able to block things and use this nail bone on legs to revive the blockers or a level five that i can just digivolve um i have not added this in yet uh or i have not caught footage this episode with this card but i'm adding this in uh, it is a structure deck card, so I'm not sure if this accounts to the uh, budget. Yeah, whatever. Um, Mega Digimon Fusion, 5 cents. Uh, it's free, it goes to the bottom of the deck. Since you're always like milling things, you kind of always want to put something back just for those, um, oh, I'm about to deck out type games. I'm going to order another one of these. Um, and then from here, it is a Demonic Disaster. It scored me a couple. It allowed me to just swing twice with Cress, and that was just phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Allowed me to swing twice, if not three times, with it, with the uh, Black War Growlmon underneath him, which was kind of insane, kind of uh, incredible. One of the best eggs in the game, $2, uh, Demi Marimon, and the last one is another copy of Taikumi Aiba. The only changes I have made so far is just add more blockers basically and then I removed um, one tie and mat since the Omnimons were kind of expensive I kind of don't want to make him the focus of the deck so I'm gonna try to get more draw power with it and uh, yeah I'll see how these games go I hope you guys enjoy all right here I go I start off with the Marimon and then he evolves into a Kabuterimon for just about one. Then he plays a level 4 Eosmon, which allows both of us to play a Tamer for free. I digivolve into a Black Wolf Growlmon with the Digiburst. And my champion, Chaos Gallant, Reign Supreme. I pop and revive to pop his level 4 Eos. He swings for 6k and then plays a, another Eosmon from hand due to its a, effect. Then he drops a Kabuterimon for 6 to put me at 4 memory. I then swing with my uh, swinging unsuspend with my Chaos Gallant. I try to be greedy with another Chaos Gallant swing. It lives. Uh, he goes to 5 memory when I play a mat. And then I use the mat to recover a Marimon from my trash. He taps Manoa to search the top 3. He hits a Tamer, Takumi. But his Manoa is stopping me from unsuspending my Tamers. So I only get one draw for the rest of the game with this Taikumi. Uh, the greens, the greed swings back at me, my guy. Like I, I left my uh, Chaos Gallant kind of unsuspe uh, suspended there. He just swings over it. Uh, in this position, I am kind of in trouble. I tap a Taikumi to draw another one off the Black War Gramon. I play the Satamon to recover one from my trash, and it's your boy, you know, it's Gallant. Chaos Gallant. I Digivolve 
into it to uh, delete one. He swings for one check, then two checks with his level six EOS, and then that is what wipes me. Going on to game one, match two. I choose to go first, and uh, your old friend Pokey tells me that he's got the best hand here. So. I did evolve and play a Taikumi to get the draws early before he locks me out of it. Uh, I do not have a good hand, so I play a mat to pass my turn, and then I try to digivolve to unbrick. I swing retaliation, I play a Geomon from hand to zero memory, and then I play a <laughs> kind of brick and I hard play the nail bone to get some resources to get the ball rolling for me. Uh, I move out and my board is almost as wide as his is. He is currently stacked with Eos Mons and I draw another uh, from the Digivolve with the Takumi. I do take the chance, so the draw of fate does not get it for me. So I Digivolve, so I just swing to remove one of his uh, Eos's and I swing over with a uh, Black War Grauman on his 6k Eos for just 1k over. And then I go into the Chaos Gallant to pop another one and bring back a Geomon for another memory. It looks like it's comeback time for me, ladies and gentlemen, but I cannot untap Taikumi. I swing over the Tapermon to draw one. I don't use ga uh, Gallant to revive. Then I swing with Chaos Gallant to hit then use my Black War Realmon's Inheritable Effect to unsuspend and delete my Geomon for an extra memory and bring him back with Chaos Gallant. Uh, I swing another time with Chaos Gallant and he lives. So right now we are on equal memory. I go for a Digivolve and there he is. It is an Omniwon Swartz. I bring back a blocker that I just milled. I told, I told y'all from the very beginning that I needed the blockers and I pulled out a Retaliation Digimon just in case he tries something funny or tries to swing at me. And on that, he does scoop. Uh, I barely went on that, but I stand a chance. It's one to one, game one, match three. He evolves into a Raising and drops a level five Eos. And then I Digivolve for free in Raising and drop a Gabumon. Then a Taikumi. Uh, then I Digivolve on the field so I can get my draws early before he locks me out. It is a blocker and I put him at 2 memory and then he also puts me at 2 memory. I move out and try to double up on Taikumi with a Marimon to go into a Black War Brawl. We don't seem to be swinging just yet here. He does play a Taikumi of his own and then he takes a swing. I block, and drawing two and trashing one off the Gabumon effect is quite nifty. Uh, he puts me at one memory. Uh, I now, at this moment, use Black War Growlmon to revive just one, and then I swing into the Eos and did the same thing as the last round where I swing and then evolve into a Chaos Gallant to delete another one. And then he puts me at one single memory for me to use. I swing into security but my Chaos Gallant just gets deleted off the bat. I go into Marimon, then Taikumi to draw another one off the evolution. I put him to one memory with a Myotismon. I am really, really trying to keep him off the memory. I do not want him to ramp up with his Aosmons. He is taking a dump on the security though. Then he evolves into an Aos to put me at 3 memory. I swing over the Aos with my Otis and then evolve into a Chaos Mon. Uh, tap Taikumi for an extra. It is just way too good. Way too good for me. When you thought the combo was done, I strike back with an Omnimon and I bring back a Blocker and a Warbrow. I am looking on top of things at the current moment. He swings. And he plays an Aos from hand. I block one of the Aos with the Digi sources under it. Because, you know, I'm trying to get rid of the biggest stack here. And from here, I'm thinking I've won with about four Digimon field with uh, Omni 
<laughs> Omnimon with the double check. I kill his blocker with the Omnimon effect. Quite nifty that it adds my Chaos Gallantmon back to hand for later. I see there are Taikumis on the field here, so I can't really swing. So I Digivolve into a Marimon down to zero memory, and I swing with my last level three for game. Just barely. He would have killed me if I gave him another turn. Um, I can't believe what difference that two Omnimons and two blockers can make. That's the game, folks. Thanks for watching.